everybody. Welcome here to the disco party. If you want, you can come over a little bit more to the left side so you can see the full machine while I will explain a little bit about the new Disco 97 range. So today we have the new Disco 9700RC auto swatter behind me. In total we have five new machines. We have the 97 without conditioner, we have the 97 with roller conditioner, with time conditioner and the bigger machines with belt mergers, with a time conditioner and brand new the machine with a roller conditioner. So it's the first time that we have a roller conditioner together with a belt mower in this combination. So Disco 97, that means a mower with a walking width up to 9.5 meters. On the widest position, on the smallest position, the machine will be on 8.8 .8 meters. On that machine, we have uh, 25 years of experience put it in the design of the machine. So we have the most reliable machine and the machine that is designed for the highest throughput. I have been with the machine in Texas a couple of weeks ago. We are mowing every day from 8 to 8 in the conditions with up to 60 tons per hectare and even more. So one disco mower was feeding two Jaguar 990 every day and we could easily be in front of the Jaguar every day. So that's the... Uh, shows you how impressive and how good the throughput of the new machine is really in the field. Also, we have been in South Germany in a heavy hole drop silage with more than two meters height. So that was quite good. We could still do a speed between 15 and 20 k's an hour. So 15 to 20 k's an hour with almost 10 meter walking width. That means for hole drop silage, you can easily do between 15 and 20 hectares per hour. So that is a lot of capacity. And that's only possible because of our new design of the belts. So when we start in front of the machine, we have the well-proven and known max cut cutter bar. From the cutter bar, we go through the roller conditioner and the roller conditioner is driven on both sides. So the upper roller and the top roller, they are both driven and they really eating and pulling the material from the cutter bar to the belts. So that is a very high, uh, very good feature that really makes the throughput possible. Also, we have the belt in total with 1100 millimeters, um, so a very wide belt, and also the angle of the belt is very steep compared to the previous range. Another feature, you can see it later on when we are running the machine in the field, the belt is also tilted backwards a little bit more, but only on the inside, close to the windrow. That gives us more space near to the windrow, but also we can fill the belt completely equal. So when we start to filling the belt on the outside, it will fill the belt on the top and further on the inside, more on the bottom. And that will give us a completely equal windrow and perfectly for the following machine afterwards. But the machine is not only for throughput, it's also very reliable and very strong designed on the booms. So we can shift the mower completely in or out so that's done with our new shifting hydraulic system on a very strong pivot point. So on the closest posi position with 8.8 .8 meters, we have an overlap between the front and the rear with one meter. So that means around the headland, if you are going around the corners, you can easily go around, you have enough overlap, there will be no strips left in the field. If you are later on, on the long runs in the field, you go all the way out and you have still an overlap with 15 centimeter on each side and that's with a three meter front mower. So that means with the machine you have a lot of capacity all the way in for the headland, all the way out for the long runs and you can easily cover 9.5 meters.